I'm Elise Klink with Expert Real Estate Tips. Whether you're planning a small home improvement project or a major gut renovation, it always helps to have a few extra tips along the way to make things easier. What we want to do is we want to make sure that we've got a good set of drawings from the owner and the architect that really defines what we're, what's expected of us. We want to make sure that we have a good construction schedule laid out so that we can, um, one of the things that's very important for us is to be able to build well but build quickly and efficiently. So we want to make sure not only do we know what the first subcontractor is doing, the demolition guy, but what's the next guy doing after that and what's the next guy doing after that. So we want to make sure that we've got a, a construction schedule and a, and a lot of detail that we're giving to the subcontractor so that he, when he gets here, he knows what tools he needs, he knows how long he's expected to be here, how long he's got to do his job, and exactly what's expected of him. And that goes from, uh, if it's the demolition contractor, take out all of this, but leave this area because it's a uh, bearing wall, it's a structural wall, leave the trim in, but get everything else out. So we wanna just make sure that, that each, of the, each of the subcontractors knows exactly what's expected of him in advance. And the only way to do that is to, for us to have a very detailed picture of how to put the project together from beginning to end. Obviously, we, we do more uh, detailed planning at the beginning and then we follow with detail through the process. We're not worried about the carpet going in at the very beginning of the job, but uh, we want to know exactly what, what we're biting off before we get started.